We're joined in the studio with women's tennis player Elena Vall. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Now, you're having a tremendous season so far. 11-0 in singles mm -hmm. play, 9-2 mm -hmm. in doubles play. It's just astounding the stats you've been able to put up. How, what has made your season so successful? Um, I think, you know, every game I go into, I put a lot of focus and, um, you know, I always try to play my best game no matter who I play, even if I played them before. Um, I always try to, you know, play my game and kind of shout out everything that's going on and just mainly focus on my game, so. Now, obviously, you're a very strong tennis player. Is it part of the coaching decision to have you play second doubles? Because obviously, Laura Hale is a very strong player as well, but obviously, you've been successful at that position. What do you think about that? Um, well, we're both really good players. You know, I think she did really well at one, and, um, you know, it comes down to whoever, you know, earns their position. So that's how we kind of determined it. So she was at one and then I'm at two, but I think we overall, both of us had a really good season. So played very good matches, very hard teams, good players. So. And speaking of Laura Hale, you guys are a tremendous doubles team mm -hmm. as well. You're nine and two, like I mentioned before. What makes you guys so compatible on the court? Um, well, this is our first year playing together, so um, we still had to kind of learn each other's game. And I'm not a doubles player, I prefer singles. So um, for me, it was a lot of like trial and error, you know, but I think we have very good communication, and I think we're um, both positive. You know, if one's down, we always try to, you know, bring each other up. So I think we're a good team in that way. Okay, and obviously that's working out yeah. really well, but when you look at your team, you're right now in fifth place in the Empire 8 conference standings and 6-5 and five record overall, 4-4 four and four in the Empire 8. This weekend you guys are playing in the state tournament at Cornell. What is the team's mindset? Because obviously only the top four teams in the Empire 8 get to the playoffs. What are you guys sort of mm -hmm. thinking at this point? I think like every team that we played, it was definitely close matches. You know, RIT, we, we lost 4-5, or five, very close. Um, NAS, I think everybody had really close matches. And in states, we play a lot of similar teams that we've played during our season. And I think now we're kind of more um, aware of how they play and what to do. And so kind of like second time around, we got to do things now that we didn't do in um, our season. So right now, I think, you know, we had practice yesterday. And I think everybody was, you know, hitting great and stuff. So I'm really excited to see how we play. Okay, excellent. And you mentioned uh, those really close matches. Mm -hmm. I was looking at your schedule, and pretty much the majority of games are either 3-6 losses or wins. Obviously, really close games. You mentioned the RIT 4-5 to five loss. How does it feel seeing you guys in the fifth spot, a 500 record, and looking at those other games? How do you guys feel about that or respond to it? Um, I think, you know, everybody came out playing their best, and I think, you know, you can't do anything about it if, you know, you got on the court and gave 100%. Um, you know, scores are nothing but numbers, so as long as you played well and um, you played your best, I think that's all that really mattered. So we had a um, very hard match against um, Naz. It was um, definitely upset, but um, I think next year, you know, we're going to come out and hopefully beat them and make the Empire Eights, definitely. So. All right, that's a great job because I know you guys were picked to finish fifth in the Empire Eight this mm -hmm. uh, this preseason. So, good luck to you on that. I was also going to ask um, about more Empire Eight conference play. Your last two two matches weren't very successful. One eight loss to Utica and a nine zero loss to Ithaca, who are obviously very strong teams. What is the mindset of the team now? Just as you mentioned, seeing yourself in that position um, after those two games, how do you guys go forward, knowing um, that you guys do have talent? Yeah, definitely. Um, Ithaca was definitely our hardest match. Um, they're great players, and I think every game it makes us a better players. You know, our mindset, our strokes, everything. Um, so from now on, you know, we've learned from our past, and now we can just look forward and do our best in the next um, the tournament we have coming. Up, so. All right, excellent. I have one final question for you. I read that you were actually born in Russia and lived there <laughs> until you were eight years old. Yep. So how did you happen to pick up tennis or how did you get to the skill level? Um, well, I've been always surrounded. Like my grandfather played religiously tennis and my mom did. Everybody in my family did. So when I, you know, picked up the first racket, I was like in love, like slow at first sight. So, you know, and I've been playing tennis ever since. And then I stopped for a little while to play more like team sports, you know, volleyball, soccer in high school. And then, um, 
you know, I always kind of missed tennis. It was like always my first love. So um, my senior year, I got back into it. And ever since, I nonstop and playing tennis almost every day. So. All right, excellent. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us and make sure to support the women's tennis team. Again, this is Elena Vall, 11-0 mm -hmm. in singles play. Good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you.